dogs. Big or small, cute or fierce, the type of dogs doesn't matter at all. All that matters is that it's a four-legged animal that's totally unpredictable, like a tabletop is master. <laughs> <laughs> you can never tell what they are thinking and when they may attack you. <laughs> well, I dislike for dogs has always been a secret they don't have. Only because of his because of an incident that happened in school. When I was in class six, I just generally told my friends that I hate dogs. And they looked at me as if I'm a serial killer. And Shruti, whom I call my best friend, who also incidentally was a dog owner, snapped at me. Oh my gosh, Priyanka, what's wrong with you? Who on earth hate dogs? Don't you know that dogs are so great? They save lives. You're weird, weirdo. And then the group of my friends turned into my biggest bully school. They all called me weirdo. Well, this incident shook me to the core. And what I learned from that incident was that I should keep all my dislikes deep in my heart and never show it with anyone because I feared being judged by the people. Sometimes, feel that you should speak your heart out, but then you realize that people will term you as uncool or weirdo. And then what you decide is to wear your mask and smile all the way. Fellow Toastmasters and dear guests, our constitution of India gives us right for freedom of speech and expression. When the society snatches away this freedom of speech and expression, the moment we disclose our dislikes towards something which they love themselves. They judge us without knowing the reason behind our dislike. And they even tease us and torment us and make us feel worse about our dislikes. And at times they even unfriend us. And then all we are left with are the words engraved deep within our hearts, which we know that we would never be able to speak out. Well, my dislike for dogs <clears throat> well, I've always feared uh, I've, I've always struggled from the fear of dogs ever since I was the size of a puppy. <laughs> Even a dog's simple bark in the night would wake me up from my deepest of sleep. While an alarm clock would take tense noses to do the same. And while riding my scooty, I keep my eyes wide open. Because being chased by a dog is even worse for me than being chased by a, by a zombie. I also dislike one more thing. Not about dogs, but about dog owners because they bring their dogs in public places and they don't consider about those people who may have phobia of dogs or may be allergic to dogs. And even bringing dogs to public places is also dangerous because they are unpredictable, like our tabletopics <laughs> master. Also, dogs pee and poop everywhere and they allow them to do that. Imagine what if we humans do the same, will we be allowed to do that? Then why should we tolerate it from dogs? Well, I understand their love for their pets. And I also respect their feelings. But what if I like snakes? Am I allowed to bring my snake to a grocery store or a cafe near around me? Because who? Oh, I have emotional problems. <laughs> Her. She was still smell like a dog. 
She would leave everyone at home and use the same tub as a toilet paper. <laughs> she was an opportunistic scavenger. <laughs> she would eat her food when we are not cooking. And one day, she took a step ahead. While my grandpa was sleeping, she ate his toe. She had never bitten anyone at home. And that day, she behaved like a table novice master. <laughs> completely unpredictable. Well, my grandfather recovered from that accident. But my dad drove that dog away and never brought it back home. And since then, whenever I see a dog, I start behaving like a table, like a Toastmasters meeting guest, hiding ourselves from table dog its master. And I hid myself from dogs. So I can say that we must be beware of dogs and table dog its master. <laughs> because no matter what you do, you they choose to adapt us when we least expect it. <laughs> Likes and the feelings within my heart, I was hurting myself even more than those people who had hurted me in front of whom I disclosed my likes and uh, disclosed my dislikes. And then I decided that from today onwards, when someone will not understand my dislike, I would feel that this message was not meant for him and I'll continue to speak without. And if someone comes up, and torment me for my dislike, I will tell you, you just stop it. I am allowed to dislike someone who has hurt me. And I am allowed to say that I hate you. I am allowed to speak 